How's it going, YouTube? It's APOC, AK Brandon, and today we're going to ask the question, where to go, 5.0? So where did stuff go in Lens Studio 5.0? Let's start with the asset library, one of the first things I see everybody asking about. The asset library used to be a big labeled button, but look at that icon, guys, with the filled in squares. Boom, there it is in 5.0 at the very top left. That little icon is there with outlines squares this time, but that is the asset library. Click on it and the asset library for 5.0 appears. Incredible, it's still there. Let's just go next to that real quick. The performance button, where's that in 5.0? It's not there. It never really worked all that well in 4.55, so they haven't carried it over yet, probably pending some improvements or it'll just become a plugin or something. I don't know, but it's not here. The other thing that's not here is this dark mode button because quite frankly, it was already dark mode. Why was that ever an option? I have no idea. It doesn't need to be there and it's not. Next, some things have been renamed. Scene hierarchy, asset browser. That is the equivalent of the object panel is the scene hierarchy. And the resources panel is your asset browser. Same things. Next, the 2D editor, for some reason, is just not there by default. I don't know why. So if you want to add in a screen image, it's just not going to let you edit it the old way until you go to Window, Editors, and go down all the way to 2D Editor, and boom, there it is. And you may notice up here we have some options. You might want to enable snapping with this one, and you might want to, you know, show guides, enable snapping to guides reset the zoom, reset position, all kinds of options there. Why does it look so strange sometimes? I don't know. I think it's a bug where the sizing gets really enlarged. Sometimes it's really tiny. It's really laggy for me right now, guys. I don't know what's going on, but that's where it is. <laughs> uh, the scene config is the next thing we're looking for. Scene config panel here. It's where you can set your capture target, render target, your live targets, render target, and the render order. It's actually been moved to the scene asset in your asset browser so you can see there's their capture target live target you know set it to whatever you want render order config is right there we also have our physics world settings are no longer just automatically there like they are in 4.55 they've been moved to here and by default it's just going to use the default but if you want to add one just add in physics world settings and then boom you can edit that uh, from the default one I think that's about it, guys. There's some other things. Scripts have been renamed. So now we have just TypeScript file and JavaScript file as separate things, but they work essentially the same way. Uh, if you click on a screen image and you're looking for the quick way to import, you can click on this little options button here and see the quick options, which will include the ability to change the image without going all the way to the material. There's also a couple extra buttons over here in the preview, but nothing's really been removed. These are just extra things. So you should be okay with that. Uh, and I think that's going to be everything, guys. If there's anything else you want to know, where the heck did it go, Cotton Eye Joe? Drop it in the comments below. I will try and tell you where it is or where it isn't. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.